If you're just joining us, welcome to our cross-country journey from Portland, Oregon to the East Coast and back. We've seen a lot of great things and had some snags along the way, so if you haven't watched the previous episodes, I will link them here. This morning we find ourselves waking up just outside of Moab and we gear up to continue our journey through Salt Lake City and into Idaho. Well, we were trying to get a bit of work done at our campsite, and uh, the done. wind just decided to pick up really quickly. And it was just constantly blowing dust on our computer. So we're getting out of here. We're gonna head north oh. towards Salt Lake City, and uh, hopefully we can find ourselves a little forested campsite tonight. I kind of miss the trees. Yeah, um, I think it would be good to get out of the sun a little bit yeah. <laughs> for everybody involved. Um, yeah. Well, we had a great time in Moab, so um, I would, I feel like we just barely scratched the surface here. Uh, we didn't get to really do any of the off-road trails, which is sort of sad, but it is what it is. We don't really have all the right gear and experience to do it quite yet by ourselves, so. Um, we we'll did a little. Yeah, we'll come back and do some stuff. We are in Idaho, where the potatoes are. The potatoes. Uh, we just got in over the border from Utah, so we're in southern Idaho. And we are in Caribou National Forest, looking for a dispersed site. Um, it's much different from where we just were. Uh, we were in a very rocky, dusty area, and now we're in forest and wetness. So we got an Airbnb last night in Salt Lake City uh, because we wanted a shower. Yeah. We had planned to camp just outside of Provo because we found some hot springs, but uh, we had to get some work done and we needed a shower because we were pretty dusty. So And it was also really um, windy yesterday. Yeah, and the weather just wasn't fantastic. So we grabbed an Airbnb, got in a good shower, and uh, yeah, now we're in Idaho and... We just found a little spot off the side of the road. Um, but we're just going to drive up the road a little longer yeah, we're just and keep see going. if there's anything cooler. It's a fun little forest road, so yeah. let's keep going. There's a spot right there. No, that's a sign. I oh, think... Trail. Oh. Yeah, so there's a there's a kind of a... It's a hiking trail or driving No, trail? it's a driving... I don't know if we're going to be able to fit, fit through these rocks. Yeah, I don't think we can fit. Don't, don't try it. Yeah, I don't think we can. Oh, all right, we can camp right there. It doesn't yeah. even have a sign for vehicles, so we yeah. can't do it anyway. Hit it off. We uh, came up to the end of this forest road, and uh, the end of it is the end, because past that is a little ATV trail. We couldn't fit through the they had a little rock a couple of rocks so and it's raining kind of feels like home yeah we're uh back in the northwest i guess Idaho, idaho's considered northwest yeah right i would say so potatoes yeah 
<laughs> sort of northwest. What is this? Oh, uh, we got trash. We got fire pit. It's not bad. Not bad at all. I believe this mountain up here is called Elkhorn Peak. Um, pretty cool. Pretty cool little view up here. There's a bunch of little sort of hoof marks. We got a bunch of hoof marks. I don't know. Maybe some elk. Or caribou, because it's called Caribou National Forest. Caribai. Caribai. <laughs> we got a nice little creek. I don't know. That's not right. Definitely, <laughs> definitely feels a bit like home. This is kind of the, uh, this is really the only use case for this when it's not windy and it's just kind of sprinkling. Because anything else, this thing is either going to get weighed down or uh, we're going to get hit by wind, you know? Yep. Uh, oh, well, now i got to put it on the other side. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a little lightning rod. Please don't say that. <laughs> All right. All done. for the saggy middle. I like the way it looks, sort of. Pretty, pretty janky, but it gets the job done. She, she, uh, she flies. She gets the job done. Well, so I had an extra one of these <clears throat> and uh, we haven't actually set this up at all this whole trip, so uh, I was looking for it, couldn't find it. So we've got our little tent pole in here, just kinda holding her up. <laughs> Yeah. Looks pretty funny, uh, but not bad, not bad. I think our next, probably our next big, big purchase will be an awning. Like a, no, I think I want to do the 270 degree awning so we can get coverage over the back while we cook and stuff. Yeah, that's true. How much is that, baby? Well, there's some, there's some relatively expen uh, affordable ones. You can see what I care about. Yeah. How much is it going to cost me? <laughs> It, uh, it rained on us only when I was setting up the awning. Feels, like feels about right. It started raining when we got out of the car. Yeah, so it was sprinkling a bit. It stopped raining when we were done setting up the awning for the rain, so that was cool. And it hasn't rained since, and now it's clear. Yep. Nice and clear. We got the moon over us. We got some clear skies. Got a little fire going. Oh, but I got a wet butt. Yeah, and our chairs got soaked, so. We're just gonna enjoy the night. It's perfect out here. Well, we didn't do anything super fancy for dinner. I had a uh, leftover Mediterranean Donner thing and Kim had some ramen, aka lamian. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, somehow it's uh, 11 o'clock and we didn't even realize where the time went. Yeah, that's why we didn't make full dinner. <laughs>
I thought it was like 8 o'clock and it turned out it was 10.15 when I looked at the clock and I was like, you know what? I don't really feel like making a whole dinner and having to clean all that up, so. Yep. And I just wanted to enjoy the fire with my main squeeze. Well, we're going to sit here by the fire for a little bit longer, pack up and get to bed. So we'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning. It is May 22nd, Saturday, May 22nd. We've only got maybe three or four more days out here. We're thinking about maybe heading out to Jackson to Bridger Teton, uh, seeing the Grand Tetons. We'll we'll see what the weather's like. Last I looked, it was supposed to be rainy over there, so not really sure I want to go hang out in the rain. Our other option is to camp near some hot springs near Craters of the Moon National Preserve. We're gonna figure out which of those two that we want to do. It's kind of hard to decide because they're they're both about the same distance away. Craters of the Moon is a little closer to home. It's beautiful out here though. Though there are a lot of ATVs coming by, four-wheelers and dirt bikes and stuff, so that's kind of lame, I'd say. Oh well. All right. What are we having? Luncheon meat. Spam tacos. Luncheon meat. Spam breakfast tacos. Guys, don't recommend buying the Safeway brand signature select pork luncheon meat. There's only one Spam, and it's Spam. Not signature select. And we eat a lot of it. I know, it's bad. But you know what? I'm Korean. Spam has been a part of my diet for as long as I can remember, so that's how it is. Well, these look delicious. Yeah, we've got uh, Spam and Egg Breakfast Tacos with Erdes, our house favorite. Do it for the Instagram. We do it for the gram. Do it for the gram. Oh. Are they good? So good. Yeah. I thought they came out pretty good. Oh my god. The crispy tortilla makes it. Guys at home? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How are they? So good. I crisped the street tacos a little bit and it adds like perfect texture. 
They're really good. That's how to do it. Mm-hmm.